Hello there guys, what is happening? Welcome back to another video here on National Vlogs. Uh, now recently we had a announcement from uh, Lightwater Valley up in Yorkshire here in the UK. Uh, they recently announced following uh, government uh, guidelines that they will be reopening the park after lockdown on July 18th. However, unfortunately, three rides are not going to be reopening now this is really shocking because light water valley uh, they're they're not in a good state to be brutally honest and um the three attractions that they have closed are as follows so the first one that they've announced that will be closed is the ultimate uh just a bit of backstory to the ultimate uh the ultimate opened in july 1991 uh, it's the only coaster to be manufactured by British Rail. Um, so yeah, they've announced that the Ultimate will be closed. The second ride that they've announced that will be closed is Raptor Attack. Uh, Raptor Attack is a Schwarzkopf uh, Wild Cat ride. Originally known as the Rat Ride, it originally opened in 1987. Now, this is something I'm not surprised at because it is an indoor coaster and a lot of indoor attractions are being closed. So, Raptor Attack is going to be closed. But I'm really surprised why they decided to shut uh, the Ultimate. But hey ho. The final ride that they've announced that will be closed from July 18th for the time being is Apollo. Now Apollo is um, an AK ride Starflyer currently on loan from Alex Crow, which opened at the park in 2016. Now, like I say, I am really surprised at this, to be brutally honest. I didn't think the park would do this, especially closing the Ultimate. You'd think they'd want to keep the Ultimate open as those three attractions are their sort of headliners so it's going to be interesting to see if light water valley will be able to um survive after this uh, the park has also announced that entertainment and activities in the show barn will not take place throughout the summer yeah it's it's a real shame that um these two attractions are closing <sighs> If I'm totally honest, you'd think that Apollo would be able to open because it's outdoors and it's a star flyer. They could have that open. Um, Raptor Attack, I can see why, because it's indoors. Um, but the Ultimate, with it being an outdoor coaster, I'm really surprised why they've done that. Um, but, but the question I'm going to ask is, if the Ultimate has to close, why isn't uh, there other two coasters open, which is... The Little Dipper, which is a um, which is a pin fari ride, and also the Ladybird, which is a Ziera uh, family coaster. Both of those coasters opened ten years apart. Uh, Little Dipper opened in two thousand three, with the Ladybird opening in nineteen ninety three. Now, yes, they're trying to go for a more family friendly sort of approach when they reopen, but you'd think they'd want to keep the Ultimate open as a money maker. But yeah, like I say, guys, it'll be interesting to see whether Light Water Valley will survive after this. Um, but yeah, uh, comment below your thoughts. I'd like to hear your thoughts on this. Uh, do you think Light Water Valley will uh, survive through till next year? I think they might, depending on how well this goes. And when do you think we'll see Raptor Attack and um, Ultimate open? I think we'll see Ultimate reopen maybe towards the back end of the season and we... I'm going to be honest, I don't think we'll see Raptor Attack reopening until 2021. But yeah, comment below your thoughts. Uh, if you are new around here, make sure you hit the like button. And also, if you've never seen this face before, welcome back. Welcome to the channel. Um, hit that subscribe button because at 400 subscribers, I'm dying this hair blue. So if you want to see that, hit that subscribe button. Anyway, guys. Okay. That's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Nasha. This has been another video on Nasha Vlogs. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.